everybody. Today we're going to be doing some science and I heard that you were doing animals in science. So this is going to be very exciting. Today we're looking at the characteristics or features of what makes up an omnivore, herbivore or carnivore and we're going to be sorting animals to see which they are. I'm going to share my screen with you now. So our learning objective, as I said, is to know the characteristics of herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. So we're going to see if you can meet our first success criteria, which is I can explain what an omnivore, herbivore and carnivore are. Now I heard that you might already know this. So this would be super easy. Two, I can classify animals by what they eat. And three, I can describe what animals are omnivores, carnivores and herbivores. So, now I've finally got it working. Our first thing is going to be a true or false, just to sit, get our memory working, get our brains working, to see whether or not you can remember what an omnivore, carnivore and herbivore are. So, if it's true, you can tell me it's true, I'll hear through the screen, and you can put some thumbs up. And if it's false, so if it's wrong, you can put some thumbs down. And you can say that it's false or it's wrong. So, a herbivore. Now, I'm not very good at remembering things. So when I wrote this, I said, herbivores, they only eat meat. Am I right or am I wrong? Is it true or false? That's right, it's false, it's wrong. Silly Miss Robinson. Herbivores, they don't only eat meat, they only eat plants. What about an omnivore? Am I right or wrong? They eat both meat and plants. When I was writing this, the reason I can remember an omnivore is because they see food and they go om nom 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 and they eat it all. So I think I might want to get this one right. Can you put your thumbs up or thumbs down? Tell me if it's true or false. Yay, I got it right. It's true. They om nom nom everything. And carnivores. Now, we might have already remembered this from earlier when we did our herbivores. I put carnivores. They only eat plants. Am I right? Am I wrong? Is it true or false? Ah, I'm wrong. It's false. Carnivores only eat meat. So now I've got a little bit of a song for you to watch. So you can pause this video, stop it where it is, don't go any further, and watch this song. It tells you a little bit about carnivores herbivores and omnivores and what features they have. So what makes them different from one another? Are you back? Have you paused it? Have you watched it? Brilliant. So we're going to move on to our task today. And we've got a table. So I'm going to ask you again to pause the video, stop it where it is, don't go any further. And can you draw this table on a piece of paper. They're big words, so I've written them there. They're omnivores, herbivores and carnivores, so all words you've seen before. And we're going to use this to see what animals go in each one. So I have two different types that you can choose from for this task. And if you think, oh, Miss Robinson, this is a bit tricky, you can choose challenge one. Now challenge one has pictures of the animals and then also has what they eat. So you could look at it and maybe see that they all eat 
everything underneath the animal is meat. So you're going to go, well, I know that carnivores only eat meat. They don't eat anything else. So that animal must be a carnivore. If you think, no, Miss Robinson, that is too easy. I've got a challenge too, where it's just the animals, no food, just the animal. And you have to look at it and think, oh, oh, that's tricky. Um, but I think that animal is a herbivore. I think they only eat plants. So I've got those two uh, pages. You can cut and stick, or you could look at it on your computer and write the name of the animal. But I've got two to choose from. You don't have to do both. Just choose one or the other. Okay. So, can you pause the video again? Stop where you are. Don't go any further. And can you do this for me? Can you do this task? You can cut and stick or you can write whatever you find easiest. And remember, challenge one or challenge two. Okay, so we're going to go through some of the answers now. And Miss Robinson found this one very tricky. So I chose challenge one, which has the food underneath. So uh, you can see my table is nice and filled in. I chose to cut and stick and I did challenge one. So I've got the food underneath. So we're going to go through the omnivores first. A pig. Now, I thought, originally, I thought that pigs were just herbivores. But I found out that they eat things like chicken too. So because they eat chicken and grass and fruits, they eat everything. They're omnivores. Now, the robin was a little bit tricky. And it was a little bit of a sneaky one. Because we might not think that insects are meat but they are. So they eat seeds and all the baby plants, but they also eat caterpillars. They eat worms. So they're eating meat and plants. So they're also omnivores. And that bottom one, that was nice and easy for me because that was us humans. And we eat everything. If we get a burger, it's normally got lettuce in it. So we've got meat and we've got vegetables. We've got plants. We drink milk. We eat seeds and fruit. Our herbivores, I've got a tortoise because they eat fruit and plants. A rabbit, they eat grass and leaves and flowers. They're all plants. And a moo cow, a cow. And they eat grass, just grass. Oh, I think I'd get a bit bored of that eventually, but they're not. So they're all herbivores. And finally, the carnivores. Our crocodile eats fish, which is a meat. They eat insects, which we said from the robin is also meat, and frogs. And I found out they also eat lizards and basically anything that is in the water. Our dolphins, they eat lots and lots of different types of fish, which is all meat. So they're carnivores too. And our lion, they eat lots of meat. And I bet you knew that one, that lions eat all types of meat. Well done. You did a super job. Can you give yourself a ketchup clap? Because they're my favourite. Ready? <laughs> Yay! Well done. You did really well. And I hope to see you soon. I'm going to stop sharing now. And I'm going to say bye-bye. See you soon.